Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. And it's Sunday today, and this is quite not so serious, but it's kind of like, as you can tell by the title, it's advice basically. And it's back to school advice, okay? And it's like, I'm not very, I guess I'm okay at giving advice, I don't really give advice out, but some I've gone through things that you might have gone through, or in general, I might just be able to give you some advice. So, Let's start with the first thing I want to talk about is basically just to talk about friends in general, okay? If you, I, at school, personally, I have two groups, like the girl group and the boy group, okay? And I don't mean, like, separate out, like, sexes or anything like that, but most of you, most of the boys I hang out with don't know, don't, like, hang out with the girls that I hang out with. So it's kind of like, I keep them separate, and most of the time I hang out with the girls because I just generally get on with them better. And, but I do also hang out with the boys. Um, so... Basically, if something happened with one of the groups, I can bounce back on them, not like using them or anything, but it's kind of like that. But if you only have that one group, and you're in that group, and you've fallen out with someone in that group, and they are like, well, you've fallen out with that person, so you need to like basically bugger off, don't take it. Be like, well, it doesn't concern you, I just want, like, what I think is the best option to do is basically talk to that one person you've fallen out with. For example, if your name's Jack, um, and you, um, no, not Jack, that's one of my friends, um, Barney, your name is Barney, okay, and you have a friend called Dennis, okay, and Dennis is being rude t to you. Talk to Dennis if you're Barney. Like for example, it's an example, okay? Talk to that one person. Don't talk to everyone. Talk to that one person out between you two. Don't get everyone else involved. Don't go, like, crying to all your other friends and be like, oh, this person's being mean. Because then they'll get involved. And then you seem like the bad guy because everyone's going to go have a go at this one person. Sort out between you two, yeah? That's what I did. I had fell with this one person. I talked to that one person. And we sorted it out. That's what I do. Sometimes it might not work like that. Um, but just give it a shot, and then you'll be the bigger person trying to sort it out. Second thing is, it's quite serious with bullying. Um, bullying can lead on to other things, okay? And the main thing is, don't hold it in. If you're being bullied, do not go, don't take it, yeah? Don't go home acting all normal, and then at night you cry yourself to sleep, and then you wake up in the morning crying because you don't want to go to school. That's, that's the mistake I did. I got bullied for about two years, I think, and it was quite bad, okay? And it's the fact that it went on for that long, but I didn't get anything sorted because I held it in. And I used to cry myself to sleep and cry myself of getting out of school, not going to school. And in the end, my mum and dad like, what is going on? And I was, said that. And I went to school and they phoned the school about it and we had a chat and I had these two years of mentoring or self-confidence building and trying to help me through it. And I got given these booklets and like if anything happened or I felt uncomfortable writing down instead of talking about it. And you just basically hand this book in to my mentor and she basically helped me out. I had these week once like these weekly appointments with her. And it did work in some cases. Sometimes I don't really, like, I use all those techniques that she taught me, I always use them. Like, in my daily life, I always basically just remember what she said to me and just do what she told me. Sometimes I don't listen, I didn't really listen, and I, I went ahead and did my own thing, and sometimes got me into trouble. But there you go. Um, but do not hold it in. That's one of the main things to not to do, just don't hold it in, don't keep it to yourself. A problem shared is a problem halved, okay? Tell someone, t it doesn't matter who it is, your friends, your family, a teacher at school, whoever, just tell someone. And if you really have, just cut that person out of your life, just get rid of them. Just don't have any memory recollection whatsoever once it's all sort of just cut them out. You be They ruined your life, or however long they did it, like two years, two months, two days, whatever. Still bullying, cut them out. Just completely, like, don't have anything to do with them. Don't associate with them, nothing. Just forget about that person. Or the, that group of people, okay? Just have no recollection of them. Because then, when that you're being bullied, it could lead to other things. More serious than that. 
I'm not going to say it because it makes me feel sick when someone says it, or if I say it. Um, but that basically ruined your life emotionally and now physically bullying, okay? And it's just a fact that it ruins your life basically and all those kind of emotionally and physically in your body. It does that. So just honestly, if you have to, just do whatever you can to get away from them. If that means moving school, just get away from that person, okay? Just, just get away from them. Tell someone, don't hold it in. And if it gets really serious, then you just have to take drastic measures, basically. If they start really hitting you and you have bruises and you come home bleeding, broken, and stuff like that, you can't just, like, hold it in and say you fell over. It, it gets serious then. If someone, really, if someone hits you, it starts getting serious. And because the older you are, the more serious it is if someone hits you. So that's the thing. Just don't hold it in yet. Just don't. That's a mistake I made. And then I just ended up having a breakdown. <laughs> On a week, literally, I just had a breakdown on a day, and I was like, I can't do it, and just broke down. Okay, just don't. Please. Um, so, to cut this advice, long story short, basically, tell someone, don't hold it in. If there is a person or group of people, cut them out of your life. You don't need them in there. You don't delete them off your social networking sites. In real life, just cut them out, okay? And... Yeah, a true friend, okay, is when they stick with you, by your side no matter what. If you're being bullied or you're having troubles and they stick by you, then they're a keeper, okay? Just stick with those people. If there's some one of your friends like, oh, you're having problems and they just don't care, get rid of them. Because if they don't care, then what's the point of being their friend, okay? So guys, if this helped you in any way possible, please thumbs up this video. And if you know someone that's going through trouble, share this video. Like... I don't really give advice, it's kind of like my first advice video, so for all you know, I could be absolutely crap, but I'm kind of just sharing the techniques that I was taught with you guys, they're probably like the basic ones, but you just never know really, do you? So, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in my next vlog. Good day. Bye! Let's get to the good bit. Oh.